Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here. Welcome back to our week mode playthrough of Final Fantasy XII. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a bunch of useful items that you'll want to equip on your week mode team, especially on your tank, in order to help out with some of the challenges ahead. So if you want to support me, don't forget to hit the like button and stay tuned for today's show. Okay, so you will need access to the Broken Sands area of the Esther Sands, which means being able to use the ferry. If you can't use this, then check out the episode I did on my normal walkthrough, showing you how to get the Barheim Passage Key. Doing that eventually unlocks this particular ferry. So you don't actually have to complete that quest, you just need to get to the point where you can reach the other side, which doesn't take that long. And once you do so, you want to make your way through to the Broken Sands area, which is... Uh, just past the next big area that we're heading into at this point. So I'll see you there. Okay, so first things to note is that this northern section uh, after the ferry contains level 25 enemies. So make sure you have your tank set up with decoy and protect in order to keep the party safe. So over here we have a chance of spawning our first treasure chest. And I'm going to be showing you three particular treasures that I want you to look at getting today. Uh, two of those are farmable. You can get them more than once. The other one is a one-time spawn, but still very useful. So this dispel mode here isn't what I'm after. It actually has a chance this chest of spawning the black cow, a very useful hood accessory helm, which has a number of defensive stats. So just pop in and out until you get it, and you can get it on as many characters as you want. So let's try again. Another dispel mode. Uh, make sure you do not have the diamond armor equipped, obviously, uh, since that will just give you a knot of rust at this point, since this is not a diamond armor treasure. And the chest itself has an 80% chance of showing, and then when it does show, it has a 35% chance of having the actual black cow. So, black cow item. So, dispel moat or gill is obviously going to be your most common drop. Try again. There we go, black cow. So I'm just going to show you that particular item before we continue. Uh, I'm not sure if Penella can equip it. No, she can't. But if she could, then you can see the nice boost in the uh, stats there. So it should be good for Fran, seeing as how she's a magic caster, and it is. And I believe that Varn should be able to cast it as well. So we'll give it to, uh, equip it even, not cast it. So we'll give it to him. But as I say, we can get another one for Fran as well if we want to. Alright then, so I actually looted four of those black cows. We can purchase them later, uh, but right now they are very, very useful. And why waste gear when we don't have to? So you can get an obelisk from a chest down here, which is a nice spear, but you probably won't be using spears. What you can do though is sell it if it is something that spawns there. Right then, so up here, uh, this chest just contains a Kronos tier, I believe, uh, or a potion. Uh, if we head around... What's this? Is nothing really. High potion is the best you're going to get out of that. Okay, this here can contain a Viking coat. On this occasion it didn't. But the Viking coat is a decent piece of armour which has a nice amount of defence on. So go ahead and farm that to your heart's content. This chest up here can actually contain a dragon shield. And this is one of the most exciting treasures. The second most exciting treasure actually that I want us to grab from this area. An ether on this occasion, uh, but it's probably one of the best tank and shields you can get at this stage in the game. There we go, dragon shield. So we're going to equip that onto Pinello right now. It does require shields four, but it has a nice batch of evade, 23 points of evade. So definitely something we want to equip. And she's got now got 73 evade, making her a very strong tank. And that's mainly because of this dragon shield and main gouch that we farm for. If you don't know how to get the main gouch, then check out the video I put out on that. I'm going to grab another one of these as well, since you can farm these for a second tank in the way of Bash. Not Bash, sorry, uh, Balthia. Alright then, so moving up to the north of the zone. This treasure here can contain a diamond helm. Ah, oh, there it is, look. So collect a few of those if you want any to equip or to sell. And if we move around here now... This is the guaranteed treasure. We can only get one of them. But it is... Oh, we can actually loot the darn thing. A pair of Berserker Bracers. So stick that on your 
damage dealer in my case bash possibly yours as well if you're following along with my jobs uh, we just need to learn the accessory which is uh, license needed accessories 13 and that's going to drastically boost up the damage that you're able to do with your main damage dealer so we'll go ahead and learn that and we only need one of them because our other damage dealer in our case Fran our other machinist is not going to be using berserk status so that's absolutely fine and then finally the other item that you might want to get a few of while you're here, especially for an upcoming hunt against the White Moose. This treasure here, didn't on this occasion, it can contain Bacchus Wine, which can put the target into Berserk status. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and farm that, get a few of those. As I say, it is going to be needed on the upcoming uh, hunt that we're going to be doing in a few moments' time. Well... By in a few moments, I mean a few videos. A few moments from my perspective, possibly. And that's pretty much it then, guys. Next time you're at a merchant, make sure you sell some of your excess loot that you don't need. And you'll, you know, hopefully make a nice bit of gill. Bit of a tidy profit, as they say. Well, thanks for stopping by today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And come back soon for more Final Fantasy 12 week mode. Take care.